What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to another episode of Bales Road to Glory, episode 20. And this one is going to be the finale where we attempt to win the Gold Cup on our first attempt. So we go straight into our first game. But if you guys are looking to buy some coins, check the link in the description for UT Coins for you. Selling for about £8.50 on the Xbox and £9 on the PlayStation using the code JG94 to of course get 5% off as usual. And uh, going straight into this game, we've got a 100 chemistry Liga BBVA team with Lionel Messi in form Sanchez. And unfortunately, I was absolutely dead and buried. Uh, like literally, well, I was dead and buried in him um, in the first 25 minutes. And then somehow he just breaks away counter attacks and uh, scores to make it 1-0 with Alex Sanchez, his inform card. For some reason, he starts getting cocky with it around it, uh, around the ball with the back, at the back, sorry. Uh, passes it out to um, Diego Costa and Diego Costa is, of course, going to finish that into an open net in the 29th minute to get me straight back into this game. But then look at this. You're about to see the most AIDS goal you will ever, ever see. One cross in here from Modric. You're going to see in a second. Look at the goalkeeper. Look at the goalkeeper. What's he doing? He's gone into the net. He's gone into the fucking net. And I'm now losing 2-1. That is an absolutely ridiculous goal. After coming back into this game like four minutes after he scored, uh, he's going to go and do it again. Look at that. What is that again? Another AIDS goal. Kicked it against my player. It's bounced, of course, straight to Karim Benzema in the 53rd minute. And he's able to make him go, uh, him go make himself go 3-1 up. And uh, even more AIDS. Let's just pile it on top. Somehow that's a penalty. I mean, I have honestly no idea what the hell was going on with this game. I was raging so hard. You know, I just did not deserve deserve to be losing 3-1 at this stage. I had more shots on target than him. I think I had even better possession. I was playing better football than him and for some reason he's 3-1 up with a penalty in the 57th minute. So it's not really looking too good at the moment. Until Diego Corta, uh, of course, Diego, uh, Corta, sorry, uh, just slides to the uh, right to you know, make a really fantastic save there from the penalty and uh, keep me in this game in the 64th minute. We're only 3-1 down. Two goals is quite easily to come back from. Uh, one fantastic crew, uh, through ball uh, from Diego Costa to Bale and we're able to get a second goal in this game to come back to 3-2. Uh, Ten minutes to go to for, for this game, to, you know, obviously for to end. Uh, and of course, one fantastic through ball from Isco to Bale and a really nice back post header from Bale to make me get, uh, you know, back into this game. Equalize back up at 3-all and uh, that was pretty much it for this game so far you know it's gonna go it's gonna be you a know, full-time whistle but unfortunately for us you know we are still gonna have to play half an hour of football for you know extra time and penalties and uh, as you can see absolutely domin domin uh, dominating him on the stats he's had four shots on target to my 13 i've been absolutely dominating him and unfortunately have just not been able to finish it and get ready for the most most you know pretty much bullshit goal um, you're about to see one through ball and it just slides straight past two defenders cannot take him out and of course that is how it's going to end 118th minute goal can you get more lucky I mean seriously how much you know shots I had against this guy and they just his goalkeeper prevailed me every single time and for some reason we lose that game I mean I'm sure you know people have had those sort of games before where you've absolutely dominated the person but you still come away with the defeat and it absolutely sucks to see because you know it just seems to happen on this game more than anything uh, than any other FIFA's because I liked you know any other FIFA seemed to be like pretty realistic and uh, you know the scores were never like this but I don't know one last goal and uh, he's actually able to win the game and look at that 90 shots on target to his six shots on target that is absolutely ridiculous stats I you know clearly meant to win that game probably like 10 4 or something ridiculous but for some reason my finishing wasn't as good as his and uh, he walks away with a win so the first game in our uh, obviously uh, attempt to win the Gold Cup we actually lose so that's not a really good start, so uh, we're actually going to apply some contracts, apply some fitness cards, and we're going to get straight back on the hype, and we're going to go into the Gold Cup again. Uh, we're going to, you know, just apply, I think, is to, you know, the people that need them the most, get a squad fitness on, and we're ready to go again into our next opponent. So, uh, next opponent is this guy claiming to have a league, a BVA team, I think he says, or like Espana or something, and you're about to see his team. It's a pretty weak Spanish team with... Benzema in the centre mid. I really didn't get this team. It's got Xavi Martinez at CDM at playing at centre back. I really did not understand this team at all. But um, in the 20th minute, we do actually have a fantastic opportunity with Bale here. But unfortunately, he does smash the post and it just rolls along the line. And it takes until the 73rd minute to get a goal in this game. A really nice uh, sort of finesse around the goalkeeper. 
with the outside of his foot from Diego Costa in the 73rd minute to get me 1-0 up in this game. One fantastic through ball again over the top for Bale and Bale is able to finesse that with his left foot and uh, to make me go 2-0 up in the 90th minute and of course that was how that game ended. We won that game 2-0 and we're back into the Gold Cup and hopefully we can you know win three more games and we can end the series here but um, we will beat that game uh, beat that guy 2-0 uh, Bale and Costa you know pretty much the only goal scorers ever I don't really see anybody else uh, anybody else scoring in this team it's kind of strange how it's so dominated by just the two strikers and I'm sorry, I've got a really bad cold and it's uh, it's really hard to commentate, but um, yeah, uh, beat him 2-0. As you can see, only two shots on target to his zero in this game. That was a very, very uneventful game, and that is why I could only show you like one shot and two goals or something very ridiculous. So, pretty bad game, but in terms of like, again, the result obviously accounts, and uh, we win 2-0. So, we're ready to go into another game against this guy called J.R. Neville, and I think he claims to have a La, La Liga team, I think, but get ready to see his team. It's like the the worst team ever to get into this gold cup i mean it's it's a gold cup for a reason and this guy rocks up with a silver bronze team uh with um begovic in goal i'm really not too sure what the hell he was thinking but in the 14th minute we're able to go one nil up with diego costa a really sloppy goal you just know a uh, shin grazer pretty much and it does make uh, able to go past uh, begovic to make me go one nil up a really fantastic uh bicycle kick attempt here and a scramble outside the uh, inside the box sorry and we're able to slot that in over the goalkeeper somehow it bounces around and you know event eventually ends up in the net uh, and that makes me go 2-0 up this guy has one through ball you know calves through like three of my defenders and a really nice shot here from I think called this guy called Granded he seems to play really well in this game I'm gonna have to trip you know check him out and see what his stats are like because he seems very good uh, in this game he played very well like, for him but didn't really do too much in terms of goals and um, but come back straight away here with Isco getting a pretty lucky goal nice little bit of skills here from Diego Costa you know able to jump the tackle and he's able to slot that in to make me go 4-1 up against this silver and bronze team I'm really not too sure about his team you know it, it probably was the reason that I beat him uh, or I'm beating him so hard Diego Costa once again an absolutely phenomenal goal probably one of my favorite of this series so far from Diego Costa a superb goal there from a really tight angle to score um, but because he's got like a I think like a three chemistry goalkeeper he doesn't really stand much chance of saving that so uh, a really pretty much uh, just time for another consolation goal uh, here from in the 86th minute a nice uh, cross from one of his uh, I think bronze wingers into the uh, into his silver striker and he's able to get uh, a final consolation goal to make it 5-2 and uh, that was pretty much how it ended Diego Costa got four and Isco got one so some pretty decent goals there um, and that was how that one ended and of course now we are two games into the gold cup and we have won both of them so we've got two more games to win and that will be the gold cup hours but um I mean, look at that again. Like, I think that was 16 shots on, 19 shots on target to his five. I mean, the two games that I've just played were absolutely dominant. Uh, and, uh, I mean, the first one I mean, that was really dominant to me. But, unfortunately, I did lose that first game. So, we would be actually be in the final if it wasn't for that. So, that kind of sucks. But, into the semi-final we go. And uh, it is against this guy, a Bundesliga team, which I absolutely hate on this game. It's, like, literally undefeatable. And uh, unfortunately for us, in the 43rd minute, you know, he's just going to get some nice pass and move play. Run through ball through over, the, uh, th you know, pretty much on the ground, sorry. And Pepe is just so slow to get to the ball. Aubameyang gets to it first, and he's able to slot that away uh, to make it 1-0. And unfortunately for us, look at this. In the 90th minute, this guy is just keeping it around in the corner. He obviously wants to play for the win, uh, and that is what he's doing, you know. But he does uh, feel the opportunity to go for it. So he crosses it in, and unfortunately, look at this. The four four man counter attack and the ref blows the whistle on my gold cup dreams and that is it unfortunately guys I really am not enjoying this series as much as I was so I'm not going to go for another gold cup attempt because it is just really frustrating to get so far into the gold cup and then be beaten by some bullshit attempts um, or some bullshit goals or something like that so I am going to leave the series here thank you for all the support that you've shown on it unfortunately we could not win the gold cup for Bale's Road to Glory but I'll try again uh, of course with another Road to Glory very soon I think I'll be doing a Road to Glory vote video uh, just like I did with Bale's Road to Glory vote uh, and you guys you know absolutely seem to really want to see Bale so I've done Bale's Road to Glory we've done 20 episodes I think that's enough now to leave it there and it's been a fun series but obviously when you get to this point in the series it's not as 
as fun. So I think it's time to move on. I'm going to show you all the players' stats that are currently in the squad, and uh, I'm pretty much going to leave it there. So uh, if you've got any ideas to let me know uh, for like which road to glory I should do next, or, you know, which player I should be using, I'm thinking a legend card, maybe Crespo, maybe uh, Rude Van Nistelrooy, get a nice Netherlands team around him. Let me know in the comments, and I am going to do a road to glory vote video on the certain people that you guys say in the comments on this video and uh, there'll probably be like five or ten players and it'll all be down to you so, who, so you can decide who I get to uh, you know do the next road to glory around so thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy uh, you know this whole series do be sure to leave a like rating if we could hit 500 likes for the final uh, episode of Bale's road to glory that would be phenomenal and uh, apart from that guys I want to thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy it leave a like rating subscribe to my channel if you're new around here follow me on twitter at my 4 and apart from that guys I'll see you guys soon